How to fix assistive touch not working on iPhone. Reset assistive touch. First, open the settings app on your iPhone. Scroll down and tap on accessibility option. Scroll down to the physical and motor section and click on touch. Here, look for the assistive touch and tap on it. Toggle off the switch next to the assistive touch. Wait for some time and re-enable the switch next to the assistive touch. After re-enabling the assistive touch, then check if the assistive touch is working or not. If it is still not working then, adjust assistive touch visibility. Open the settings app on your iPhone. Scroll down and tap on the accessibility. Again, scroll down to the physical and motor section and tap on the touch option. Look for the option assistive touch and tap on it. Find the option idle opacity and click on it. Increase the slider to adjust the opacity value. After increasing the opacity value, check if the assistive touch is working or not. If it is still not working then, update iPhone software. Open the settings app on your phone. Scroll down and tap on general. Look for the option software update and click on it. If you have any update, then update the software. Make sure you have the latest iOS software installed on your phone. After updating the software, Check if the assistive touch is working or not. If it is still not working, then force restart. Press volume up, then quickly press volume down. Hold the side button. Don't slide to power off. Keep holding until the screen goes black and the Apple logo appears. Mention that this won't delete personal data and only reloads the phone's code to fix the issue. After force restart, check if it is working or not. If it is still not working, then reset all settings. Go to the settings app. Scroll down and tap on general. Here, scroll down and look for the option Transfer or Reset iPhone and click on it. Now tap on the Reset option. From the menu, select Reset All Settings. Enter your screen time passcode and confirm it. After resetting all the settings, tap on the Assistive Touch then check if the Assistive Touch is working. You can see the Assistive Touch is working. And that's it.